South Humber Park. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me on this ride today. Uh, we're trying to. <laughs> He's walking the bike up. It's a pretty steep hill. Well, see if she can make it. Probably. Uh, we're heading to the lake. Oh, look, let's try this trail. All right, let's try this trail, see where we're we gonna go. I'm um, trying to go to the lake today. Yesterday I did a bit of riding in a city. I went to City Hall, Queens Park, Dundas Square, everywhere, and uh, made a few films. I've never been on this trail, actually. And today I decided to go take this trail to the lake. Wow. It's pretty dark in here. It's amazing how a little bit of trees make everything so dark. Oh well. Wow. It's amazing. Yeah, if you haven't checked out yesterday's video, have a go looking at it. Um, yeah, it's been a few shorter videos, but uh, it was pretty good ride. Was, the weather was fantastic too. Yeah, this is not a bad trail if there was more light on it because I don't know how blurry it got when you. Uh, here we go. I don't know how blurry it gets when you uh, when you're in the dark with this camera because the stabilization just shuts down when it gets dark i remember this trail back in the 80s it used to be all shaved grass all cut grass and it was kind of different oh look they've closed this thing off this is like a famous oh art statue thing that this was abandoned for years and years let's go see what's behind it oh interesting I remember it being a washroom, perhaps. Yeah, I remember that. It's been close. Can you see it? It's probably too too dark. Yeah. Yeah, it used to be a. I remember it being a washroom, but then they closed the washroom and it just kind of sat idle there. I think they're trying to renovate it or something. But. Yeah, interesting. All right, let's go. I don't come here much. This is not the easiest way to get to the lake uh, because it's a longer route. You can take um, any of the side streets and get to the lake in and out faster. And this, this trail is kind of very uphill and it's also used to be a lot more scenic but because they've closed all the they let all the trees grow you kind of feel very trapped you know they've got of course a little bit of a that is a, a sewer plant water treatment plant so that's where they clean your water for drinking in there and sometimes in the summer it kind of smells funky but today it smells okay Oh yeah, totally remember as a kid here, this used to be all open, complete open grass. I used to shave the grass right to the bottom, manicured, but now it's very, it's how it is. I like it a bit more open because when it's this tight, first you don't have visibility, secondly it's kind of like, you still see the towers and buildings in the back, but you just, uh, I don't know, I like it better when it's open. I'm not a huge fan of greenery. Lots of greenery and lots of trees. It blocks your view, you know. Listen, we all know we're in a city. It's not that you put a couple of 
green plants in front of me and I think suddenly I'm in the wilderness but look at this like very little visibility right that's all right Ooh. all right so which way I think this way and I'm not a big fan of filming around this uh, trail so let's go see what happens here maybe we can get to the river Maybe. Oh, that's cool. A little beach thing happening here. It's a pretty good shot. Wow. I'm right underneath the, the trail here. Oh, that's a cool shot too. It's a cool place actually and that's the bridge we want to go under let's go find it they have fire here too some people have made fire here it's an excellent place for stealth camping steve there's a web uh, there's a <laughs> there is a what do you call it oh that's really cool too there is a YouTube channel called Camping with Steve, and this guy is like uh, lives in Canada, uh, in the middle of Canada somewhere, Western Canada, and he stealth camps. He goes in the gas stations and city parks and all sorts of stuff, and he camps there. And every time I see places like this, he just love it. Look at this, Steve. These would be perfect if you're watching. I'm gonna send him a link. These places are just fantastic, although. It's very noisy to be underneath the bridge, but look at this. Oh, fantastic place for you to stop camp. You're not going to get wet. You're going to access the beautiful water. You're close to the stores and the uh, noise of the traffic. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It muffles your noise so you can talk to yourself all night on a camera. Camping with Steve is the YouTube channel. It's kind of an enjoyable channel. You know, he's a very uh, funky, cool guy that just, you know, just very mellow. He never gets excited about anything and just takes it easy camping around the city and parks and gas stations, police stations, airports, just whatever. He camps everywhere but, <laughs> but a proper campground. Interesting. That's what I like uh, uh, YouTube because you always get to find out about interesting people and interesting channels like like me probably just like riding around the city riding around the city that's like this shot is pretty good come on <clears throat> come on maybe that'd be a thumbnail maybe let's go by that water this is ooh, did you hear that my god crunching the gears now one trick with this bike or probably any bike you know when you in changing gears it's best not to heavily push on the shifter push on the pedals always good to take it easy uh, that, get, that way it doesn't put so much pressure on the gears wow the sky is amazing Ooh, this is gorgeous all right oh all right all right we skid it on the grass. Let's uh, let's go this way. I wasn't paying attention at all. I was watching the sun and the sky and the rear wheel hit a patch of grass that was stepped in a, in a was high, this high, and then the back just slides. When that happens, you should you shouldn't try to fight it. You should just let it slide. Because what happens is the bike slides slows down and goes right underneath you just put your foot down if you try to if you try to correct it uh, then you fall just let it skid no problem look at this this is gorgeous gorgeous oh this is going to be a good ride a lot of the rides i do by the water you know the nature rides i don't get a lot of uh enthusiastic views on them you know people that seem to like the traffic and the hustle and the bustle of the city but i don't know i thought these rides would be more relaxing for people but i definitely like these two i like both of them i like to once in a while get out to the 
so-called nature, as long as you buy the water, you buy nature, you know, just get some sun. I wanted to come earlier, but I should have come earlier, but uh, that's okay. That's fine. We'll try to make it across to the uh, the beach in the back there. Mm. Somebody's having a fire. I can smell camping fire. Ooh. Smells really good. Somewhere. There's a campfire somewhere. Let's go out of here. Wow, right into the sun. Wow, this uh, this floor I find interesting. It's very gives you a illusion that the whole floor is alive. All right. I like this section because sometimes there's people hanging out on that sort of stuff. Playing street music. A few times I saw that. Actually, I saw that once. I thought it'd be a cool place to come in. Yeah. Street watch. Street people here. Right in this here. I had a live music and some guys playing a violin. But... Uh, oh, there's a DJ there, I think. Let's check it out. Yeah, she's getting ready. She's not a DJ, she's got a keyboard, so I was gonna play piano. There was a guy in Washington Square Park in New York that used to play piano. He kind of uh, played every weekend with a grand piano out there. It was a pretty good music, it sounded good. I made a few videos of him that got actually very, very good views. And then there was, a, there was this uh, other girl there. She used to bring her keyboard every night and sing and play piano. She was so into it. She was so into it and she would sing for hours. I don't know what kind of music it was. It probably was contemporary music. She was singing in her own way with a piano. And uh, it was very interesting because she was there every night. Really nice girl. Look at this. This is like probably like on a farm country road. <laughs> Yeah, so I like it. I like street music and I like live music. I like musicians who play music on the on the street. You get the odd ones that don't know what they're doing, but they the the market you know sorts that out by itself. You know, if you're not good, you know, people don't pay you and give you the you know tell you to shut up, and you get the message after a while. But if you're a good musician and you know how to entertain, then people would reward you. So I think free market makes that work well. That's why I like uh, street music because it's not sponsored by anybody and nobody's pushing it. And it's, it's pretty free. Form of free expression. This is going to be a ride to the beach. And that's it. Right to the beach. Let's go here. Wow, this is a good ride. This is uh, condos. Look at this. They're pretty. Wow, this is gorgeous. What kind of birds are those? I'm just here to film nature. We're doing nature filming nature and these things the candles actually this one is a pretty good one it's pretty tall they all have balconies on them let's do a turnaround here let's go look back let's do a look back on the docks there's no boats here though i don't know what kind of a docks these are but yeah these are all many many condos here many these weren't here. These were all, this area was all like uh, motels, 
cheap motels you could hire for, you know, I guess in the holidays back in the 50s maybe, I don't know, 60s, people used to holiday here, who knows. And then they tore them all down and they built these condos. What is this place though? I don't get it. There's, there's, you're supposed to park your boat here or what is it? Because I don't know, it's docks everywhere. But it's uh, very interesting. I've never seen a boat here. And why they would, they would build this uh, expensive walkway here? No idea. I think this walkway comes up and down, right? With the, with the water. So it's sitting on the water because it's got these ramps. Look at the ruckus it's making, huh? Woo! Mr. Ruckus, here we come. Talk, talk, talk. All right, good. Usually there's people walking there, so today was nobody walking, so it's good to sneak on there. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Mr. Ruckus. This guy's got a big lens. Uh, probably a 300, a 4, maybe. For bird photography. Bird photography. I say bird photography, yes. I should try to photograph some of those birds by the water. I haven't... Um, what is she doing? She parked her bike over there. She's picking. She's picking something. Something for eating, maybe? Who knows? She looked at me funny. She's like, why is this guy? There's a fine for $75 fine if you don't pay to park here. Wow, that's insane. Uh, park, a city park. And you have to pay parking. It's about $4 an hour or something to pay. And if you don't pay, the fine is $75. But you know, I don't know if... Uh, how often they enforce that, right? Because it's, you know, they got to send the guy all the way here. Wow, what's this? This used to be a, maybe a washroom or something. But they spent a lot of money building these docks. I'm gonna do a turn here. Make sure I don't fall in the water. Whoa. Very nice, very nice. Look at the sunsets, man. The colors are, whew. Anyway, the colors look gorgeous on a monitor, who knows? By the time we get to the studio and you pull the colors out and you realize, oops, it wasn't recording. Huh, that's all right, that's okay. Oh, another, that was a good area, I like that area. A few people were sitting there, they were smart. Nice light, boardwalks. Wow, here we are by the water. It's a lot of people by the water. What's going on here? Look at the colors, my God. I like, I like, ooh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's go down there. When oh, the sun's was right there. It's not showing it right behind the buildings. It's a very mellow sunset. It's not very dramatic. Just the sun just had a rough day and it's just going away. Nothing. Sometimes the sun goes away screaming. Skies are purple and green. Not today. The sun's just like, all right, I'm done. Packs his bags. Just goes home. Sometimes the sun is just very dramatic look at the sand action we like sand right we like sand look at the sand action in the brakes and the gears hmm, perfect perfect way to ruin your bike i'll tell you Ooh. you know what we need to get to the closer to the water without without getting off the bike let's see if we can Right, right there. All right, let's try this. All right, all right. All right, maybe this way. There's a little step here. 
All right, cool. And keep the wheel straight through the sand. And right. Beautiful. All right. I think I'm going to end the film here. If I see something cool, I'm going to hit the record again. But thanks for watching all the videos, all the comments, and new subscribers. We rock. We'll see you in the next film.